What's going on guys? Alex with the Game Changers here. Today we are speed painting a Pichu Amiibo. This is absolutely a wonderful Amiibo that I cannot wait to show you. The detail on this is so great and it's totally worth a couple extra dollars that Nintendo is asking in my opinion. But today we are making a plusle out of this Pichu and we're using Super Sculpey Firm which is one of my go-to sculpting materials, along with Avis brand epoxy. And I'll put all of that in the description below so you can order it yourself. There will be affiliate links. So if you don't mind helping us in that way, check it out. What I'm going to do first is cut out Plusle's tail, which is a plus sign, of course. So I also am going to do a little bit of detail on it so that it has, you know, a little bit of character just like the Pichu Amiibo currently has. I then am going to take off his ears and reshape the ears so that they better match Plusl. In the reference image that I'm using, it shows that Plusl's ears are a little thinner. So I'm trimming the existing plastic down, which is really easy with my box cutter. Uh, I like it because it's a little more durable than my uh, X-Acto blade. Sometimes the blades snap if I press too hard and I feel a little safer that I'm not going to cut myself, but it's not as sharp as the X-Acto blade. So, it, it, you know, you give and take a little. But there we have it, nearly similar ears. I also mixed a little bit of epoxy. So I'm going to use the epoxy to attach the tail. And I'm also going to, in a second, shape the ears with epoxy so that I have the most accurate look rather than just two ears that I've trimmed down with some sharp edges and then it won't look as good. So I'm wrapping the ears with the epoxy and the turnout's gonna be really nice. Uh, a huge recommendation when working with this specific uh, sculpting material, this Avis brand epoxy, is to use a little bit of water. Once you have your sculpture set, uh, wipe it down a little bit with a paintbrush or something that isn't your fingers because it attracts fingerprints like nothing else. And then you're just going to find yourself sanding quite a bit. So that's a huge tip that I learned over time and it really helps to save me on my sculpting time, which in itself is a bit time consuming. So you'll see that I've got a little bit of water on my hands right now. It helps to move the uh, epoxy around what I'm sculpting. So you saw me dip my finger in a little bit. Um, when you're mixing this epoxy, definitely use gloves. I'm uh, a bit foolish and I didn't on this sculpt but uh, you know I washed my hands uh, immediately after recording this video but anyways so after the epoxy sets up which needs no baking however the super sculpey does need baking so I did that a little bit of time has elapsed I'm going in and I'm shaping some epoxy that I'm laying in a little bit that uh, will a little bit better match the Plusle design. So here's a look with the sculpt. I'm really happy with it. It turned out nice. The ears are a little bit longer and they're thinner, but they're also really nicely shaped. So there we go. There's a little reference. Looks wonderful. We're also going to mix our paint next. So we've got a little orange and a, some really nice bright red. So what's important to do is to take your time when you're painting uh, and also thin your paints. That's really, really important because what you'll notice if you don't thin your paints out is when you're going to spread your paint around, you may notice that there's some particles being created and some globbiness and you really don't want that. So the thinner, the better just keep the paint intact so it'll be up to you to find the balance of what that looks like 
but I like working with a very thin paint and doing many layers because I think the turnout is much better. The next tip I have is using yellow, uh, and this goes for most brands that I've tried, which I've probably tried five or six, is you really need to be careful and you really need to be patient. You need to put on multiple layers with yellow so that none of that globby and none of that particleness happens because certain colors have more of a tendency than others to do that and yellow is definitely one of them. Some colors are easier to work with than others. You'll just have to experiment a little bit and it's kind of part of the fun so I would highly recommend if you don't want to ruin an amiibo grab a McDonald's toy or some kind of cheapo from <laughs> the dollar store or something and practice on that because nothing is you know gonna harm that and you're gonna get good practice so what I'm doing is layering on that red color the epoxy is a dark gray you can get white color but I prefer the neutral just uh, for preference reasons but it's really important to layer on the colors so you get that vibrance so I'm being very patient here layering on my reds with not very much paint at all just enough to cover the brush and going in maybe five or six layers so that we get a really bright color so that the color matches how expressive this amiibo is there we go it's starting to come together that yellow really is going to take some time but uh we were able to do this pretty quickly and <laughs> thankfully with the speed up you know you guys don't have to wait long but this amiibo probably took me an hour and a half, maybe two hours to do uh, with the, uh, maybe a little longer, depending on how long it took the epoxy to set up. But uh, this was a really simple one. So if you're interested in trying, I highly recommend pausing and restarting this video so that you can match what I'm doing. Because I hope what I've done makes it easy for you to do that. Because I really found making this custom to be a lot of fun and I'd highly recommend you giving it a try. What we want to do going forward is when we make a post on Instagram or make a speed painting or tutorial, we want to make certain custom amiibo available for immediate purchase. So if anyone really likes a custom that we make for a video or a post, then we will gauge that and we will make a small run of them and make each one really special and each one will be available to purchase immediately off of our Etsy. So I, I think it's a much better system and I really hope it turns out well. So instead of having to wait a few weeks, I think uh, you know being able to get an Amiibo right away is really a nice system. So we're going to be working on that and I hope you guys as fans of Custom Amiibo enjoy that. But what I'm doing here is I've matched a little bit of the original color of the Pichu and I've added a little orange to give some pigment to Pichu's face. And I've given a little bit of shadowing and a little bit of highlights onto the figure. So I really think some of the colors popped nicely. I'm also making some changes to the eyes and adding some highlights, some uh, cleaner lines and I'm using a semi-gloss black for what I'm doing because the original Amiibo has really glossy eyes so I want to match that the best I can and I'm using a semi-gloss white to match the semi-gloss black so I always do the eyes last because I don't want it to seem like it's got character until I'm done <laughs> painting the rest of the amiibo. I know that sounds silly, but it's almost like it's coming to life once I put the eyes on. That's kind of how I see it. So <laughs> I, uh, I hope you understand that, but I think it's funny that way. So we're almost done here. And I really appreciate all of you being a part of this. So if 
If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment with what you thought about this speed painting. So we are finishing up. I think the eyes turned out really nice. I, I think this custom turned out really expressive, which is just what I was looking for. Plusle is such a cute Pokemon. I really wanted to match the expressiveness that the Pichu already has. And I think we accomplished that. So I'm really proud of this custom. Uh, this one unfortunately has already been sold, but if you are interested, please let us know in the comments and we will make more. Uh, feel free to send us a message on Instagram and all of our social media will be at the end of this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Uh, if you haven't seen any of our other speed paintings, feel free to go take a look. Um, they're really wonderful. We have a Pokemon trainer one and uh, quite a few others. So please feel free to take a look. And until next time, I'm Alex with the Game Changers. Have a wonderful day, everyone.